Hi everyone, this is the third video of the Wayne and Sue Chapman and the Bob and Yvonne Rowe auction, May 4th, Rock Falls, Iowa. This is a live sale. You can bid online live during the auction and you can bid by phone. Um, we're going to do lots number 121 through 180. Anything else I need to say? Let's go. Okay. First lot here is a Heinemann Milkers advertising sign. Put the company maker down there. This is kind of a neat group of bottles here. This is a, just an old Tatum tablets, Corpus Tatum cap tablets. And this here is for horses, I believe, because there's a horse on the bottle. And then this is a free sample of D. Laval oil still on the box. Okay, the next lot is, uh, is that Conkey's First Aid Products. I'm sure that's products for chickens. For, I'm sure it's for chickens. That's a nice funny, little flan sign. It's a funny looking chicken. It is a funny looking <laughs> chicken. Okay, here's a cute little sign. This, this is a, a porcelain sign. Fresh buttermilk. There's your backside. Really cute little sign. All right, back into some stoneware here. Start out with a pretty good one. Here's a single P, two gallon water cooler, salt glaze with a front stamp red wing stoneware. There is a six hole bung hole here, um, a six sided bung hole. Um, fabulous piece here, guys. Now, I want you to show Comes up like this, goes like this. Does have a hairline. Once you know that, really nice piece. Really nice. Okay, we've got a refrigerator jar. This is a small size one with Chanhassen, Minnesota advertising. Here's uh, the Sioux City, Iowa. Drink three star coffee. This is a half gallon crock, I guess. Three gallon button lid. Crock lid, of course. That has a small one inch hairline on the edge. Didn't see it, sorry. Still don't see it, sorry. Oh, it's right there. Okay. Not too bad. Here's a two gallon crock button lid. Okay. Here's a five gallon shoulder jug with New York advertising, Prosperity Bleach. Does have the wing and the oval. Really nice shoulder jug. Really good there. We have this little glaze rub. Yeah, there's a little, there's a couple little gla glaze not rubs much. on them. But here, not get this much. one over here, but not much. So, okay. Uh, Seal Dresser Company. Um, I'm not sure this one's Red Wing. I just, don't, I don't think so. I'm not sure. Um, you guys all know more than I do, so. Blue Band Beater Jar. This is a Red Wing Blue Band from Blair, uh, Wisconsin. Here's a six inch panel bowl. Really nice panel bowl. From Middleton, Wisconsin. Okay. Here's a large size Cherry Band pitcher from Middleton, Wisconsin. It's a really nice pitcher. Really clean. Yeah, we know a little about this. My wife collects this stuff, but uh, look at here, parade lantern. This is a Halloween parade lantern. These are tin. Um, great early piece. Really nice item, quite rare. Another Halloween piece of black cat on the fence, original insert on it. 
The insert's a little loose, but that's okay. Nice one. You show the bottom of that? Yeah, I did. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, here is a double-sided little lantern here. Got face on both sides. It's also a good early one. These are the American pulp ones. Here's another one. This is a little larger one. This is not double-sided. It's front-sided. This is a really nice one, though. Very nice. Okay. That's the original insert. Original insert inside of it. Really nice. Okay, uh, we got some hard plastic Halloween. You'll get this scarecrow. You'll get this scarecrow. And you'll get this cat. Now, Jan, one of them had a problem, yeah, right? Yeah, he's missing his stem. There's a stem on the top. Yes. supposed to be on the top. Like this one. Okay, so. Okay. Okay. Which riding the broom candy container? Or uh, yeah. it, it held held uh, suckers, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, yep. so. Or candy, yep. yep. Which riding the broom? Here's your Halloween snow snowman with a pipe and hat really nice good item here's a really good item this is the horse donkey, donkey yeah on wheels a black one it's a really good one here's another snowman with pipe and black notice the other one was white pipe and this is black different This is the little bitty witch on the rocket. Very nice item. Got a black cat here in the front. Okay. Okay, now these are little... Favor baskets. Or... Favor baskets. They put them out in front of the kids on a table. Yeah. Um, these are plastic. There's four of this style one of this style and one of the rectangular style. And that has a little witch. There are, some yep. have a little witch, some have a little bow. Yep, and then you got this little stir stick from Anoka, Minnesota. Okay, this is tin now. This is a chamber stick, tin chamber stick. This is a really good Halloween item, very nice. We've got six little plastic. This is not the hard plastic now. These are all little candy containers. I'm just going to set them here. They're too hard to handle that many of them. Chase, if you can just get down there and get them. Okay. Okay, here's a couple of die cuts. These are old die cuts. Um, They're American. Yep. Lures. Lures. You yep. see the mark right there. Yep. Right there. So... There's some minor creases. You can in, see the in the pumpkin, creases. you can see the little creases in it, but really nice die cuts. Okay, now these are Halloween things that are contemporary. Right. Um, I don't... So you... these were made by... Here's a tag from Nicole Sayer. And here's the original tag on one of them. And these were all made by her. These three, right? Yeah. So we have all three in one lot. Yep, that's all one lot. Okay, now this is also contemporary stuff. Yep. This one here is not an old one. It is a yeah. reproduction. You can tell by the bottom. That should have that little right. button on the bottom. Right. Doesn't have it, so it's it's a contemporary so, one. So, and there's some newer decorative stuff there. Little decorative stuff. Those so, are little spiders and he's candy cute. corn. He's cute. So, he's cute. all in one lot. All one lot, yep. And that's an old shoe. That's an old shoe that somebody decorated, so. Yep. Kind of yep. Kind of a cute lot there. Okay, here's an old whirly gig. It's a witch. It's not old. It's I mean, not it's... old. I, I said an old whirly gig. Yeah. It is not an old whirly gig. It is a new one. But it's... She's really cute. She's got, got a good moon, look. The moon down here. So, yeah, she's got a cute look. Okay. All right. Now, a very nice piece here. Here's a birch leaf ice water in blue with a union oval, six-hole bunghole, uh, this is a pretty rare piece, folks. Really nice. Very, very nice. Ice waters normally don't have the six-sided bunghole on them. 
All right, here's the one gallon crock. Little chip right there, you can see it. It's flat, more on the flat of the bottom. You can just slightly see it there, but really nice crock. I have listed a hairline in the backside. That is right, I remember that. It's right there. Can you see it? Yeah, they got it. Yep. Okay. Next lot is a shoe. Now, this is, I believe, a Dickie Clay shoe, isn't it? Yep, Dickie Clay from Kansas City. Okay. I got to reach a long ways here. How do you pronounce that? Cheska? This is, of course, your Bohemian Rye bottle. Bottom marked Red Wing. And now this has a hairline right here. And then it has a little bitty nick there at the bottom. That's no big deal. Pretty good little bottle, though. Great bottle. All right, here's a three-gallon butter churn with the Ski Oval Over, four-inch wing. Uh, next item is a bean pot from Kansasville, Wisconsin. Um, lid. lid has a neck. Okay, I'm where was that? There. Oh, right there. Yep. Thank you. All right, here's a cute little, probably a half gallon jug from Minnehaha. <laughs> what are you laughing about? Minnehaha, that's the name of a falls in Minnesota. Uh, and it's a uh, whiskey. There's a whiskey advertising George Benz and Sons. Chase has no clue. <laughs> He's from Maine. We, we got to give. <laughs> All right, there's a couple little bitty spots there. Nothing bad. We're going to have to take him to Minneapolis, to Minnehaha yeah, Falls, yeah. you know? <laughs> okay. Here's a five-gallon Chicago advertising with the four-inch wing. That is manufactured. That is glazed over somewhat. Yeah. Really nice jug. Very good jug. Good advertising shoulder jug. You gotta be real careful not to set that on that plastic there. Okay. It's one gallon salt glazed jug with a tomato mouth. Really nice. Back into some advertising here. Success manure spreader advertising tip tray. Here's a lot of different advertising. All this is related to veterinary medicine. Dr. Willis Meyer Veterinary. That's like a salve, I'm sure. Um, Diamond Brand Pills. Utter Salve. I'm sure that's something for... Looks like it's something for Utters. And uh, those are pills. One or two capsules. I can't tell what it's for, but... All veterinary or medicine type tins. Great piece here, folks. Howell's Orange Julep Dispenser. Really nice item. I'm gonna kind of turn it as I go, Chase, as much as I can. Do you want me to take this out? So yeah. Or do you want yes, to please, it? take it out. There you go. So here's this part. So there's your bottom, inside, good shape, really good condition, really good item. You're not gonna put it back in, huh? I'm gonna hand you this one too. Yep. Okay, this is the Ward's Yellow Crush. These are, this is the lemon, excuse me, lemon crush, really nice item. These are really hard to get, really good condition. I would call them mint. Jane, you want to show that part quick? Yep, I think we did. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to put it back in there. Yep. All right. A couple of advertising signs here. Mule hide roofs. Boss 10. Really nice for the backside. Okay. Not a kick in a million feet. All right, here's a, I guess you pronounce that, twang. 
Root beer, tin sign. Okay. Head to the other side, Chief. Okay, here's a chocolate cream coffee, Western Grocery out of Marshalltown, Iowa. Good Marshalltown tin there. Here's a, this is, I'm sure, a tobacco cake mix. Um, there's manufacturer Levitt and Pierce. Everything for smokers. Back into Roseville Juvenile. Santa cup and saucer. I'm guessing this is really hard to get. Uh, the cup and saucer, I yeah, I didn't think this. Know there was one, but that's really cool. That's really nice piece. Yep. Okay, then we've got the is this rabbit? It's called rabbit. Rabbit with the ears back, mug and a plate. Of course, these are marked. This one is not marked. This one is. Okay, this, I know this is called a double handle mug and it's bottom marked. Can you get that pretty good? Yeah. There. And here's a pitcher bottom marked. That has the original sticker on it too. Oh yeah, this has, uh, it's right there. Roseville Pottery. Okay. Okay, here's another rabbit piece. This is a rolled edge plate, bottom mark, and here's a mug, coffee mug, I guess. Bottom mark. I think the cup and saucers have got to be pretty hard because, yeah, and they're cute. That's a nice set. Here's a, both pieces are bottom mark. This is, again is that rabbit. So, here's a coffee mug and a rolled edge plate in fancy cat, right? Mm -hmm. Fancy cat. Okay, really nice. You're getting both. And then we're going to sell you this creamer. Fancy Cat. It has original paper label. Okay. I think Bye. that's a harder pattern because I've never seen Fancy Cat. Yeah, I haven't either. I didn't know it even existed. So, very cute. Okay. Rare piece here. L.S. Stromberg. This is a blue sponge pitcher. It's about a half gallon. It is Red Wing. Outstanding piece. Really neat piece. You like blue sponge. Oh my gosh, yes. Great piece. Pretty cool piece. Yep. The sponge that's coming up is all really, really high quality. Look at how dark this one is. Um, you don't see these real dark ones hardly ever. And this thing's mint. Really nice. Really nice. And then a small one to be this dark is really amazing. Um, great piece again. Just fabulous. It's almost, you almost call them cobalt, yeah. you know. So then here's your, this is a uh, bale handled butter. Uh, it's probably a three pound. Yep. yep, I just want to make sure of that. Really nice condition. Watch me drop the lid. That's manufactured, by the way. Please don't. Yeah. So. Okay. Next rock up is the Red Wing Giraffe Planter. Bottom mark. See the number there? Yep. Really nice piece. I know a lot of people like these. Next piece is a really good bear. Um. This is the Ham's Bear Bank. You see the slat? This is the one with the water on it. Sky blue water. Sky blue water. Now, this goes right with it. I hope there's not a lot of glare when I do this. But this case was built for this bear. It's got holes for the feet to sit down into. Just like that. And you can see how it sits just fine in there. So just want you to know you'll get that case with it. Okay? I'm going to take it out of there because I don't want to bang it around. If you had a nice bar or back bar in your basement, you could hang that up. Oh, absolutely. This will hang. It's got hangers on it, so we can just sit on the table. 
All right, well, th that's the end of the third video of the Chapman Row Auction. Um, I guess that's all we need to talk about. Thank you.